Brother printers that use the TN 253 and 257 cartridges have had another firmware update called 1.31. The current information we have at hand is if the customer updates the firmware, the installed cartridges will still work. When you change a cartridge, the toner levels may still all show full on the LCD on the printer, but you may get a no toner error message. Don't just assume that it's either the black or the last cartridge you changed, it could be another one. The upgrade does not necessarily impact all aftermarket chips, but it will have an effect on a number of chips. Apex is developing a new chip and it's expected in June. There are basically four error messages you can get when you install a toner. First being no toner. If you get that message, reinstall the toner cartridge. If it can't be solved, replace the cartridge. It's important to change the correct cartridge. Drill down in the menu, the tools menu on the printer, to find the exact cartridge that it's not seeing. Another message you might get is cartridge error or replace toner. If you get either of these messages, reinstall the toner cartridge. If you still have a problem, follow the instructions that are included in the box. There's a double-sided A4 instruction sheet in the bottom of every toner box. Lastly, you might get a message, cannot detect. In this case, clean the toner chip and the area that makes contact with the chip and reinstall the cartridge. If it still fails, replace the cartridge. New printers will have the updated firmware already installed. Once upgraded, you can't downgrade the firmware on the brother. Unlike some of the other recent firmware updates that have been out there, this update is done by both Wi-Fi or USB cable. The new Brother firmware decreases the chip voltage tolerance. Each time they make these changes, the chip recognition is harder, meaning the percentage of rejections is increased. Turning off auto upgrades should prevent future issues. Our tip sheet educates customers not to update. Since the launch of printers that take the TN253257 cartridges, there's been at least 10 updates to the firmware. We've got two groups, printers and multifunctions. Starting with the printers, we've got the firmware versions displayed on the right. The last four updates since February 2020 have been focused on lowering the voltage tolerance between the printer and the chip. It was interesting to discover that the multifunction printers, MFC and DCP, have also had updates on the same dates, but the firmware version numbers are different. Like the HLL printers, the last four updates have been lowering the voltage tolerance range, meaning the older your compatible chips, the higher the failure rate or rejection rate is. A quick big thanks to store owners, Parts Overnight, Nine Star and Apex. Teamwork solved a mystery. Sharing information was critical in solving this growing random issue. Pete at Parts Overnight in New Zealand was able to test and confirm our theory by testing the voltage on rejected chips. There have been four updates involving the voltage tolerance in the last 15 months. The older your chips, the higher the chance of rejection. Eco Advanced and Goldline have consistently been first to market across all brands with new IP clean chips for the last five years. This means you get less rejections, you retain more customers, and you get higher profits selling either Eco or Goldline cartridges. It's really important to keep educating your customers to turn off auto updates. Use our tip sheets as a handout to update them on what they need to do when they get home or back to the office. So we've got tip sheets for Brother, Epson and HP and it's important that you just keep educating customers to turn off the updates to avoid problems. Most current Eco and Goldline cartridges still work regardless of any updates. However, recognition has dropped from around 100% down to an estimated 94%. We still have the most up-to-date chips available with the lowest rejection rates. If a cartridge rejects, work out what colour cartridge is rejected first and reinstall it. 
If it still rejects, swap it out. If the second cartridge is rejected also, swap out the cartridge for an OEM. You'll probably be able to get the compatible working and registering in that printer. However, rather than mucking the customer around, it's probably safer to wait for the new version chip to come. The new chip is expected in June 2021. Uh, we'll update you when it comes out. We will rechip all of our warehouse stock when the chip launches. My suggestion is you rechip all of your store stock as well when the chip launches. As usual, let us know how many chips you need to swap out. Don't do that now. Wait till we tell you that the new chip has arrived.